would you like to get updates on Major League Baseball, National Football League, and even NASCAR racing? How about weather, anytime, anywhere? MapQuest Navigational Assistance, Local TV, CNN, Restaurant Guides and Ratings While You Travel, all this fun stuff for just $9.99 a month. Come see us at any Southeastern Cellular location for the best deals ever. Hey everybody, it's Barry Miller. Welcome to this week's episode of Big Boys Boys. It's the New Year special we do each and every year, our fifth one. We've been doing this for five years now, and everybody really enjoys it. Sit back and relax, I'll show you some of the highlights from 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for Big Boys Toys. Tonight, your host, Barry Miller, will bring you the sleekest, trimmest automobiles from around the area that have been beautifully restored. If you love streamlined, full-force race cams, then this show is for you. So sit back, but don't get too relaxed. This is Big Boys Toys. Looking for great savings on new and pre-owned cars and trucks? Then head on over to Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC. Our courteous and knowledgeable sales team is ready to show you our huge selection of cars and trucks at out-the-door prices. Don't settle for our competition's offer. At Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, we're committed to sales, service, and customer satisfaction. So head on over to Ron Newton's. We'll treat you right. That's Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, top of the hill, Quintard. Oh, I can feel it. They're out there somewhere. Just have to keep our eyes open. You think it'll be today? I don't know. We'll be ready. Win the ultimate reward. Up to 150 grand by using your rewards card only at IP Hotel and Casino. More than you expect. First vehicle was a Render Hotwell, a 1955 Chevrolet, came back in January 2006. Next vehicle, Render Hotwell, 1955 Chevrolet. Welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thank you. Tell me about your 55, because I know you, he said he watches the show every week. You've heard me say over and over, I love them two-tone 55s. Yeah, that's, that's my car. Uh, when I bought this car, it was all the part. I brought it home, uh, the, the body and the frame put two bolts in the body to get it home on a rollback and I brought the rest of it home and three pickup truck loads and about four or five five gallon buckets full of bolts and parts. <laughs> so you and took the bucket home your wife said what's that that's my new 55. She thought I was crazy. <laughs> but that's the old story about what I had when I was in high school a 55. I had yellow and white just like that so I always wanted another one so I finally got it. So was it this color and all, you just had to redo it or? No, this had to be completely gone through. It had a lot of body work. It was kind of a rough car. Gary Key did the paint and body work. It turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Now, what kind of motor and transmission are you running? I bought a Crate 350. It's got a Turbo 350 transmission. It's got air, power steering, brakes, tilt. I tried to leave the car original. I put the original steering wheel back on it, even with a tilt. To, Keep it with a 55 original look. So you can actually, you can put the tilt on it and leave that same steering wheel on yep. there. You don't yep. have to have the new one. No, use the old one. Now, did you do most of the, the work putting it together and then have Gary do the touch up body work and the painting? Or? I did all the mechanical work, but Gary did the body and the paint and then at Mark's Tops, they did the poster for me. Now, how long did it take you once you started, or once you found it, to have the car that you used to have in high school? Uh, probably took me six years. Six years. And because a lot of people think you can start these things and, uh, you know, six months you're done. You better work on it day and night 
24-7, every day of the week. Well, any time I had any free time, of course, I don't work on it quite as much in the summer on the county yards, things like that, but it takes a lot of time. 55s, you know, it, it's 55s around, but, you know, you never see them sitting around anymore. It seems like all of them's gone, and I've noticed here in the last year or so, I see four-door 55s, people working on them because they can't find the 55 two-doors anymore. Occasionally, I'll see one sitting around somewhere, but it doesn't stay there long. And it doesn't matter what kind of condition or, or shape it's in, somebody will take it. And most of the time, when someone fixes a 55, they say, we replace the floor plan. Is the floor pans go bad in most of them, or is it is it the way they was made? Because 90% of the time when you talk to somebody, that's one thing they say they done. Yeah, that one had to have four, uh, floor pans replaced in it. I guess the age of them, just because of, you know, they're so old, you, they, that's just the place that rust out on them in the floorboards. Now, did you leave the original rear end and all in it? Or? No, it's got a rear end from a 79 Chevelle. Because that's what they're doing. A lot of them are, are switching up. The rear end, some of them even switching at the front ends. They yeah. said it make, makes it drive better. And they're switching it all, but you want to kind of keep it. Yeah, I kept all of mine the same. I put the uh, polyurethane bushings all in it. Kind of gives it a little bit firmer steering and ride. But everything's original on the car, other than changing the transmission, the engine, things like that. Upgraded some of the safety features, but it's pretty well original. So the, the color way. come from the high school colors, where the color come from? Well, that was original Chevrolet color. It was, the name of it is Harvest Gold and Ivory. Now, I know you had to replace but, some of that chrome, because if you said it, a lot of times, it, well, a lot of times when a car is bad, rust-wise, the chrome, most of the time, sometimes it's still good. Well, most of that, I had to buy uh, a few pieces, but most of it, I just bought a professional buffer and, and buffed it out myself, cleaned it up. It's all stainless steel, so it, it you know, cleans up pretty good. Yeah, he did pretty good paint work, don't he? Look at it, he done good. And it, the interior, you said Mark's over here, didn't you? Yeah. Now it, then the interior of it is not like a 55, right? It's it, No, it's not original as far as the pattern and things like that, but it's it's close to the colors. That it, it came, what's some of the places you go in the car since you, how long have you had it finished, first of all? How long have you had it done? Probably since uh, back in the end of the summer, I've been to, just riding around, me and wife, mostly on Sundays, things like that. I went to the Lionel Car Show. And it'll, it's mostly in the upcoming summer when we're going to get started in it. Yeah, it's like Bill Ward said earlier, you know, right towards the end of the summer, you get one ready, you got to really wait till the, the weather breaks and everybody starts doing everything again. Yeah. Because I'm all over everywhere, and I've, I've seen it once. Didn't know who owned it to Gary told me, but I, I've seen it one time. So I don't go on Sunday a lot and ride around that area. Oh, you must ride that way because I go that way. So. Yeah, mostly. Tell you what, it's good looking 55. Y'all did a great job. Thank you. We'll be right back with Big Boys Toys. I think we got you a Harley coming up next. We'll be right back. Looking for that special gift for that special person? Well, Stinson Highwood Fine Jewelers is your answer. They have New Journey jewelry. They have watches from Citizen to Rolex. Circle jewelry. They also have a wide selection of diamond rings, pennants, and necklaces. And some of the most beautiful pearls in the area. Now, Stinson's and Highwood Fine Jewelers can custom make any type of jewelry you want. You know, they have that special piece for that special person. They say if you can draw it, they can make it. With three locations to serve you, why pay more somewhere else? Make sure you mention Big Boys Toys and receive a special 25% discount on all your citizen watches. So ladies, that's a great gift for the holiday. Mount Chee Hall Harley-Davidson right here in Oxford, Alabama, Davis Loop Road. They're your Harley-Davidson dealer for this area. In my opinion, they're a Harley-Davidson dealer all areas. Stop by and see Keith and George today. They have about 40 Harleys on display. Buy a new Harley. They have used Harleys. Clothes, you people like the Harley leather. They got any type of Harley clothing you want. Helmets, you name it, it's right there. All you guys with Harleys want to put that extra chrome on that brand new Harley. They got any type of chrome you could want. Stop by Mount Char Harley Davidson today. Tom Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Looking for a classic car? Don't know where to look? I got the answer for you. Austin Hines Motors in Arab, Alabama. Austin has 55, 56, 57 Chevrolets, Camaras, Chevelles, Novas, Corvettes, any type of classic car you could want. He has it in one location. They have over 100 classic cars in stock. They also have cars that you can rebuild yourself and restore yourself right there at that location. He's also the largest wrecker and rollback dealer 
for this area. So call Austin today, 256-931-2277. Tell him I told you to call. Next vehicle, Chris Adams. I'll tell you what, this is one of the prettiest 69 Chevelles. You ever laid two eyes on, we get it back. Also in January 2006. Next vehicle, Chris Adams, 1969 Chevelle. Can't even read my own right now. How you doing, Chris? Yeah, Tell me a little bit about your car. Well, uh, was, uh, I'm the fourth owner. It was originally uh, an Arkansas car. It's from uh, Del Mar Chevrolet in Prescott, Arkansas. Uh, everything about it is just about all original. I'm, uh, like I said I'm the fourth owner. The fellow I bought it from down in McCalla, Alabama, was uh, from Arkansas, and he had bought it from the second owner, who he knew, just to get the vehicle to restore it. And uh, he got it a lot of the way done. Uh, he rebuilt the engine and uh, Mike Trammell body <coughs> shop in Birmingham. Did the paint and body work on it, which probably wasn't too hard. It didn't have any rust or anything on it. So, uh, and I got it uh, just about like it is. I've done a few things to it. I had to put some things on it like uh, grill, bumpers, and uh, I put some wheels on it to my liking. Now this is a Malibu or is it? It's a Malibu, it's not an SS. Oh, it's got a 350? Got a 350, uh, the motor's all original, about the only thing that's changed on it. Uh, it's got a four barrel on it now, instead of the two barrel, we'll change that out. Burn more gas? Well, yeah, a little bit more if you get into it. Uh, otherwise, we mostly just like to cruise around in it. It's two-speed power glide transmission, so we just like to get out on the highway. It's hard to beat them two-speed power glides, ain't it? Yeah, the cruisers. Did she get to drive it any? Well, she's gotten to drive it a couple of times. Uh, last year, I bought a 64 about a year ago, so we take them to some cruise ends here and there, so she gets to drive one of them now. Now, what color do you call this? That's a Le Mans Blue. That Le car was originally a butternut yellow, but it went back to a Le Mans Blue. What's the guy in the 67 was here a minute ago? John, you ain't gonna get in the doghouse like John, because you ain't got no console. <laughs> she she can sit beside <laughs> you all she wants, can't she? Well, I got my wife here, too, so I... <laughs> But she, she, she can probably sit on his console. She ain't big as a well, meaner. She's going to sit on John's console. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I let her sit on John's console. John, John's got to go back to Bourbon now. He's to go pretty quick. <laughs> so did you paint it this color? Was it already restored like this? Yeah, it was done by Mike Trammell Body Shop in, on Southside in Birmingham, the paint job was. It was uh, done over the course of uh, about a year and a half from 2000 to 2001. And uh, I bought the car not long after the fellow that had it had the paint job and everything done on it. And the 69s, there are not a lot of 69s around. And believe it or not, try to find a 68. 68s are scarce. Really? Uh, it's hard to find 68s around now. Really? I'm, I'm sure they didn't crush them all. Nah, I, but I think it, there's it, a few it, here and there, but they're hard to come by. You know, 20 years ago, think about it, well, 10 years ago, you used to go ride around out in the country and you'd find an old car somewhere sitting out in the field or something. They're all gone. People done found them. No, nah, we, we still look, though. We you might go down to Louisiana back there. they got some places that ain't even got no roads. You might, <laughs> you might go to Louisiana and find your old car, <laughs> but you about to take a boat. <laughs> you, you can't walk there. So all you want to do is just drive and have fun with it. Yeah, pretty much. We uh, do a little maintenance on it here and there and uh, drive around, have fun with it. We drive it everywhere. It's, it's not trailer to any. We'd, Drive it to Nashville and back to Celebration and all the cruise ends around town and anywhere we need to go to club meetings. And y'all have a lot of big car shows over in the Birmingham area, too. There's quite a few cruise ends around Birmingham area every, and, and every I, weekend. And I tell them all the time, I got a uh, commercial on the spot. If you've got a car show coming up, a cruise in, hey, let me know. If we're not booked that day, we'll try to make it because we're going everywhere this year. Now, I'm getting per per booked pretty heavy. I was telling Greg and them earlier. April, May's already gone, and people are calling me. I think we got one in November, one in September. But if you've got a car show coming up, Birmingham, Decatur, Coleman, Tuscaloosa, and we're not booked and we can make it, we're going to try to go farther out this year. Give me a call or go on the website, www.bigboystoysal.com. It's got my email address and all. Let me know. Hey, we want to go different places this year. Cruising the coast, they said they're going to have it this year, but we don't know because – I've been to Biloxi, Mississippi in October of this past year, and I don't see how they're going to do it, but they say they're going to do it. But Biloxi's tore up pretty bad. Good looking, Chevelle. Appreciate you being on the show. Appreciate you coming over. We'll be right back. Got a six, another 67 coming. Let me look at the back. 66. 66. See, I didn't get – I if I look at the grill close enough, I can tell the difference, but I just glance at the body. Tail lights give it away every time. We'll be right back. Harry Freeman Savo. Harry Freeman Savo. I'll be right there. <laughs>
Farmers and Merchants Bank. Farmers and Merchants Bank's got four locations to serve you. Piedmont, Anniston, Oxford, and downtown Jacksonville. 90 years of service. I'll tell you what, Farmers and Merchants Bank is the bank. You know, it's not like any other bank around. You can go in and they get your decision today. They make the, your decision on a loan or whatever you need right in that location. You have a personal banker that takes care of you right here. Don't have to send it to Birmingham, Charlotte, or anywhere. Go by one of the Farmers and Merchants Bank today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, when someone smiles at you during the day, it kind of makes you feel great all over. Dr. Travis Phillips, his friendly staff right here in Oxford, Alabama, says stop by their office and they'll help put that beautiful smile on your face. They have teeth whitening, general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental hygienist, oil surgery, everything right here in Oxford, Alabama. He has full x-rays and partial x-rays that he does right in his office and you'll find out right then what he needs to do. They got professional staff. They have a saying, go the extra mile for the beautiful smile. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by time of year is when everybody's doing that touch up on the vehicle getting ready for next year well i've got the place that has everything you need for any type of body repairs rosar auto paint supply has the largest selection of pinstriping and molding in the area they mix custom paint they do custom paint matching they have waxes buffer pads i mean everything they're the largest auto paint distributor in alabama with auto industrial and fleet paints with four locations to serve you in anniston birmingham coleman and tuscaloosa there's a rosar's close by and with over 100 years of combined sale experience in their sales staff, they are simply the best. Stop by or call today and tell them I sent you by. Back in March of 06, Bruce Ponder, 1960 Chevrolet. You know, 60 Chevrolet is hard to find. Bruce said it was his dream car and he wanted to fix up a 60 Chevrolet. Next vehicle, Bruce Ponder, 1960 Chevrolet. Wow, wow. Welcome to Big Boys Toys. How you doing? Like I was telling you earlier, Bruce, you don't see a lot of 60 Chevrolets out there. Tell me a little bit about your car. Well, uh, I bought the car in 74, so I've had it for 32 years. So it's been around a long it's time probably a, me. It was probably more 60 Chevrolets around then. At that point, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, had it totally restored last year. It's got a 348, three deuces, a new interior, you know, new chrome. So you just went completely through it? Yes, yeah, went completely through Did it. Did this one actually come with the 348 in it, three deuces? The, not this particular car, but they, they did come with that setup in the 1960. It's a, it's a very nice car to drive. It's a real eye turner. Now, do you you and your wife take this car out and drive it at the cruise ends around, or do oh, you yeah. haul it? No, no. If, so, if, if you catch that car on a trailer, somebody stole it. Somebody done got your car. <laughs> Does she drive it much? She won't come up here. She no, there. she she hadn't drove it. She hadn't drove it. No, no, she will one day. My wife but. worries about driving my, one of my vets because it's got the long front end. That one, that sixty's got a long front end and a long back end. Yeah, you can get several people in trunk. You know, you I, I tell you what, I bet you, you can take that sixty and go to drive in and sneak twenty people in the trunk. Well, fifteen. Close. Fifteen. Close. It depends on how you stack them. Exactly. Make exactly. some make some guys happy if you put a couple of women in there. But, exactly. But, you know, yeah. they used to sneak them in back when we was teenagers. That happened all the time. They right. put a bunch of them in the trunk, go right on in. Yeah. I've been driving it since I was 17 myself. So, so you actually drove the car when you were 17? Yes, I've had it you know, myself. Was you dating your wife when you were 17? Well, actually, I was. Did you ever go drive in? Actually, I did. Actually, I did. You didn't sneak nobody in with you, did you? Actually, I have. <laughs> It's been 30 years. They ain't going to do nothing about nah, it. No, nah, they no. Won't, they won't care now. So you've had that car ever since you was actually a teenager? Yes, sir. I sure have. How many times have you restored it in these years? This is the third complete restoration since I've had Three it. Three times? Yeah. And it's always been black? Or? It's always been black. Yeah. So when you actually got it, it was black? Well, well actually, when I, when I first got it, it was silver. Now, you see very few two-tone 60 Chevrolets. Well, they come, they come factory with a white stripe. Right. Yeah. And I've seen one, I think, with a white top, red with a white stripe. Yes, they, they did come out. In but that. you don't you don't see a lot of the 60s restored at all. No, there's, I've only seen three or four in the last several years. You know. wonder where they all went because they couldn't have scrapped them all. I think the, the big majority of them, they did scrap. They crushed them. And then 348, three deuce engines are like gold if you can find one. The breathers are even more expensive than the engine. <laughs> and you gotta, you gotta get them carburetors exactly right and everything, or it ain't gonna run no way. Yeah, it does a good job going down the highway. When he, 
Well, when you got it right, and there's always the middle cover that does all the work. Correct. And then the other two. Yeah, the other two kick in when you kick when, out. When you dig it. Yeah. Anything else you want to do with the car? Yeah, I think I'd like to put a Continental kit on the back of it. I think it'd look nice. Just change it up a little. Yeah, just change it up. I believe she'll let you do that. And then you have to paint that too. You have to. Yep. You know, you're going to match it all up. Oh, yeah, it'll match, yeah. And I, I, what I like about yours, you still got the 60 steering wheel on there. Yes. You got everything like it's supposed to be. Just like it when it rolled off the showroom. Because a lot of them, when they start fixing them up, they'll change steering wheels, they'll change this, right. change the other. And when you start doing all that switching, you just mess them up, in my opinion. I mean, you can put the different engine and stuff like that, but, you know, it, to me, it's just messing it up. So. That's true. I, I like them original. Now, size of Continental Kent, that's it, huh? I believe so. Automatic yeah. on the collar? Automatic. You know, they used to have three speeds on the column, didn't they? Yeah, they had. They also had the four speed in the floor. But, but you want to leave it where it's I at? Think, I think I'll just leave it on the It's a lot easier automatic. driving around town, driving the cruise ends with automatic. Yep. And if, if she wants to drive, she can. Yep. Yeah, we yeah. drive at the cruise ends. We've, we've driven as far as uh, Panama City. So, I'll tell you what, it's a good looking fun. vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. Enjoy it. We'll be right back. American Income Tax Service, they have electronic filing. They do individual and business tax filing. They have all the necessary paperwork right there. They do anticipation and refund loans right there at the American Income Tax Services. They have offices in Anniston, Gadsden, Gunnersville, Collinsville, Rainbow City, and Atala. They do all tax services right there in one place. Contact any of the associates at American Income Tax. Tell them you heard their ad on Big Boys Toys and you'd like them to fill out your taxes. Triplet Paint and Decorating right here on Wilmer Avenue in Anniston is your home improvement headquarters for this area. They have DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronado Paints that go on good and look great once they're on. They also have all the materials needed to do that special job around the house. Carpets, they carry Shaw and Mohawk. Hardwood floors by Robin, so everything is in one location. Remember, DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronado Paints are used by professionals all over the United States, and it's one of the best on the market. Stop by today, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to stop by. You know, it's hard to find a place that can handle all of your automotive needs in one stop. Well, I've got your answer. Superior Tire and Detail right here on Quintard Avenue in Aniston can do it all. They carry Michelin, Uniroll, BF Goodrich, Goodyear, and Firestone tires. They're also the tire pro dealer for this area. They also have a 1,000 custom wheels, such as American Racing, American Eagle, and Boss. They also have custom accessories, such as toolboxes, bed liners, and brush guards. The detail shop, they do wash and vac or full detail. Back in February, Mike Kidwell had an orange Charger, in 70 Chargers. You know, a lot of them was orange, but Mike had one going to see restored it back just like it was supposed to be. Next vehicle, Mike Tidmore, 1970 Dodge Charger. Mike, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thank you. Glad to be here. Mopars. Mopars. Uh, I found a Mopars. bunch of them a couple of weeks ago, but Mopars are hard to find at car shows. Tell uh, me a little bit about your car. All right. Uh, this car uh, has been uh, restored uh, back to uh, our, the original car that I had back in the 1970s. Uh, my wife and I dated in a car similar to this, and we decided to uh, purchase the car and restore it back to the original color, original everything. So this is actually the color you dated in. That's right. Brings <laughs> back memories. <don't laughs> it sure does. We had a lot of fun in it. What size motor and all you got in it? I had a 440 Magnum six pack, three uh, two barrels, 390, 400 horsepower, and uh, we keep working on it, and hopefully we can get a little more horsepower. You run automatic or? Uh, automatic. That's true. Had a lot of 440s, but the six packs. It was very few of the six packs around. Uh, that's it, true. Was it hard to find one with the six pack? Uh, yes, it, it took about uh, six to eight years uh, on the internet before we could find one that was in uh, decent enough shape to fix up. We we found quite a few, uh, a few 440 Magnums, but the six pack uh, we only found two or three, and uh, most of those were in, in pretty bad shape. And we finally found one in Tucker, Georgia, uh, that was, uh, uh, in my opinion, a fixer up. Uh, I've got uh, a guy that actually lives about within a mile from me that works on it, does an excellent job, and he uh, he keeps it tuned up uh, probably about twice a year. Twice a year. Mm -hmm. The, 
Actually, I didn't see if I can get this right. Actually, the back carburetor is the one that does most of the work, or is it the front? Uh, the, the middle the middle carburetor is, is the one that's actually the two barrel. Uh, it actually runs off the runs off runs off the uh, middle carb uh, uh, the middle uh, two barrels, and then the other four, the two front and the two back, are on a lever type system that work perfectly. To, they're supposed to work perfectly together. So actually, you can drive around all day long with that two barrel. Yeah, and get about lever until you push it. You, you get good guys miles until you push it. <laughs> you get yeah, you you get about seven miles per gallon if you don't push it, and about uh, one mile per gallon if you push it. <laughs> <laughs> one gallon to the mile. <laughs> <laughs> one gallon to the mile. <laughs> okay, the orange color is it because y'all had one when you were younger, or you a Tennessee fan, or what? Because you got orange no, on the day. No, I'm all Alabama fan. Roll Tide. Yeah. But uh, but the orange is uh, the color that I had when I was uh, in high school and college and. And I want to restore it just like the one I had. How long did it take you to do the work to it that you wanted to do after you got it? Well, uh, I paid to have most of it done. I'm not a, a mechanic or, or a body shop person, so uh, it took about uh, 24 months, two years, to uh, complete and get it like I, I really wanted. Because when people watch the show, I tell them all the time, that a project like this is not a two-month project. Oh, I no. thought the guy walked over that truck did his in eight days, him and one other guy Ooh, wow. uh, with that pickup <laughs> truck. but. He had to work on it constant. I mean, mm -hmm. but you know, like you, you know, like you said, getting this done to it, and the upholstery done, the painting done, mm -hmm. it, it takes a while to do that. And, and most of us in car clubs, uh, we continually add to it. Right. Where, uh, this car has had a, it's got an uh, exterior uh, stereo system and an interior stereo system. So I can uh, enter it in parades, play music and whatever, and uh, entertain. <laughs> now, how does the exterior work? Uh, it's got uh, two boss speakers in the front, uh, under the hood, uh, just behind the grill. Uh, it's got a uh, Sony and a Pioneer system. Uh, basically, you can play two, two CDs at one time, and uh, you can have your internal music and your external music. Well, you can't beat that with a stick. You can do some And it, do, it does have an elephant roar on it. Roll <laughs> tight. <laughs> I bet it does. Tell you what, good looking Vic, I appreciate you being All on right. the show. Thank you. You've done good work, and I know you get attention at car shows mm -hmm. because it's not many Mopars out there. Uh -huh. I love, you see, love Mopars. You, most of the car shows, Ford, Chevys, Mopars are hard to find. Mm -hmm. That's true. We'll be right back with Big Boy Stories. When you have an accident and your car breaks down the road, you have so much on your mind, you don't know where to turn. I've got your answer. Skinner's Body Shop and Record Service here in Oxford, Alabama has 24-hour towing seven days a week. They'll be there when you need them. Also, remember when you do have that unexpected accident, you can choose the body shop of your choice to repair your vehicle. And the Skinner name has been known for professionalism and attention to detail for service for their customers for over 45 years. So stop by or call Skinner's Body Shop today. Tell them Barry Miller sent you by. You know, a lot of people, when you say moldy carpet, they don't know what you're talking about. Auto Custom Carpet right here on Noble Street, downtown Anniston. Ken Hale and his staff, they have moldy carpet for your vehicle. Moldy carpet means it fits right in your vehicle. Pre-cut, all you have to do is pick out the color, tell them to make the car, go in there on Monday, order that carpet. Guess what? Towards the end of the week, they'll be calling you to pick it up. Go home, it will lay right in that car. Any type car made, they have it right there at Auto Custom Carpet. Go by today or call and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, in the state of Alabama, one thing that better be working perfect is that air condition. For all of your central heating and air condition needs, contact Wayne Mazel at Mazel Heating and Air Condition. 